What a lovely day to play some Quake. Today I'm coming at you with Cloisterfuck by Shamblernaut. And just going off of the screenshots that I had initially seen, and this first area, has a very comfy kind of old town feel to it. Four secrets. And a ton of monsters. How about that, huh? I feel like I've seen this around somewhere. Like this. I feel like I've seen this courtyard before. I don't know if maybe it's from a previous map of his that he uh, decided to reuse. <laughs> Try my best to try and find those secrets. Haha. <laughs> 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 Say it's awfully quiet in here. I feel like the fact that it's so quiet makes it seem empty and dead. I feel that some maps can benefit from some maps can benefit from silence, but uh, I don't know. I don't feel like this one is one of them. Silent drawbridge. It's really no by there. Oh well, I guess it wasn't entirely silent. Oh, I reckon there's a secret down there. It's just another path. Oops. Hey, all right. Oh, back at the start. You know what, another thing I just thought of? Like, the skybox, even though it looks cool, and it's fitting, I guess, for the scenery, it's static, and this kind of place would look better with, like, a scrolling sky, in my <laughs> humble opinion. <laughs> it's all nitpicky, like, nitpicky stuff. It's nothing of <laughs> real consequence, just... Stealth approach. Mm. Ah. All right. Two secrets found. Oh, that's cool. I like how you can see out to the courtyard. Although this seems to be a different area. We'll probably get there in the future. 
pretty early in the map so far. Yeah, see, this whole area is like different. I have a red armor and I have rockets, so I'm going to. off and Curiosity is the lack of a super shotgun this far in. Hey! Speak of the dead. <laughs> I've been axing a lot of monsters this playthrough. Interesting. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do. Dig this uh, underground sewer area. Pretty cool looking. You know, I'm given the uh, like. I'm reminded by uh, by this map. I'm reminded of uh, Soul of Evil. Although it doesn't exactly. Five dreams are just that. Don't forget to shoot for them before it's too late. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that was a uh, moral chastisement by the <gasps> map author. Tell me about the pipes.
Uh, this area must be clipped off also. I guess I have to go all the way around to get up there. something click. I think that's what that hint was telling us. I guess this whole area is a secret. In nested secret within the secret? Oh. <laughs> it's almost as if it's almost as if he read the read my mind. Sorry, there's nothing there. You know, while I'm playing through these maps, I'm trying to speak out loud what I'm thinking, because I feel like that's the most useful thing I can offer the map author. And that just, that last message there was just like too real. This is not the Crypt of Decay. Fair enough. I feel like this big empty wall here could have used some detail. Would have been nice as like some kind of crumbled rock structure or something. Either way, very neat. Very, very neat. There's no beauty. It's unfortunate we can't go into these buildings. That would have made for a really neat super super scene. I like how this was hinted at from down there. Oh, shit. Well, I like how it's hinted at from down there. Uh, down here, I guess, because that's where I'm at now. Uh, additionally, it was hinted at from the towers. There's one more secret to find. Adamant on finding it. Yeah, so from down there, which is where I fell through, and from up there, those fenced off little balconies. It's a very nice touch. And as it did with me, it'll probably do for others. 
it's uh, an opportunity to give the player have the player be inquisitive about what's possibly beyond beyond the map so actually this is where I came from I must have done it backwards or something or not or actually no there was another elevator platform somewhere around here yes I was able to cheese these guys from over this wall. I don't know if that that's entirely what the player or the author wanted me to do. We found all four secrets, so I feel like I've uh, well explored this area. Uh, and quite a map. Very nice. Uh, I like the look of it. It has a certain aesthetic that's closer to like uh, earlier map packs. And it has like a very cozy, homely feel to it. I feel like it was a little on the static side where. I don't know. Maybe I just needed a, a music track, and that would have uh, given me a different impression. But, no, overall, it was a pleasant experience. I don't think it was very difficult. Uh, not that that's entirely a bad thing. It was a little on the uh, easy writing side. Uh, other than that, yeah, I mean, very cool. It could, maybe it was also a little sparse on, on details in certain areas, but maybe that was intentional. I think we're at a point now where um, there's kind of like a return to original abstract look of the early Quake maps. And, I mean, it's obvious that this is like a place, and there's a sense of, of place here, especially with that little town, uh, that little village area. I, I guess that's what you would call it, right? I guess it's kind of like a little village. Uh, I think it would have served that area better if... You could actually go into those buildings, now that I think about it. Uh, it would have definitely established uh, more of a sense of place. Because um, you have like uh, this external like appearance of a castle, but as you're moving through the level, it's all kind of just like abstract, like good old abstract quake feel. Uh, those mountains in the distance of the skybox are very cool too. Um, that's all I gotta say about that. Great stuff as usual.